Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your June 11th to the 20th, 2019, that's 2019, reading for you today. I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I'd like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you all so very much. Whether you are new or old to this channel, for all your support, you guys are absolutely amazing, and I absolutely adore reading for you. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information is going to be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it is going to be the very first comment in the comment box below. You also have the links to the cards that I use and how to slow down YouTube videos so that you can listen at a speed that is more comfortable for you. All right, Aquarius, let's see what June 11th through the 20th, 2019 has in store for you. Aquarius. June 11th to the 20th, 2019, 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 Aquarius. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ooh, fantastic. That's where everything fell, so that's where spirit wants me to stop. Oh, and I would like to apologize for my voice. I am getting over being sick, so thank you all so much for understanding. Okay, we're starting with the Queen of Swords, which is amazing. This is you, okay? You're represented, Aquarius, by the swords in the minor arcana and by the star card in the major arcana. You're cutting through doubts and fears. You are really taking no nonsense. You know what it is that you want. You're setting yourself free. You're going after it. Guard your thoughts. Your mind's going to be completely on point during these 10 days. Then we have the Five of Swords. Something from your past is going to be coming up. This can be a person from your past coming back and you thought, wow, I thought everything was settled with this person and they kind of like rear their ugly head. It can be that something is happening and you go, oh my gosh, this always happens to me. And that's because it is a life lesson that's coming up that you haven't quite learned yet. But here with the Five of Swords, you are victorious. So don't worry about that. But just know that something from your past is coming up and it's going to be a bit of a battle, but you are going to be victorious. You are going to move forward. Oh, I love it. You have the Empress. You are claiming your power. You are embracing what it is that you want. You are moving forward in your truth. You're taking in the messages from the spirit world, okay? And you are moving towards what it is that you want, towards what it is that you want to be. There's a sense here of having been cast down, okay? Having lost so much and having been through so much. It can be that you have been through one of the toughest times in your life. It can be for the past five years. Kind of, you've been fighting, you've been fighting battles, is what I'm seeing here. And it doesn't have to be, it could be by the count of five, five days, five weeks, five months, five years. But this is saying that you are putting yourself back on your throne. You are claiming your power and you are moving forward. Then you have the world card. Everything is changing. Everything is changing for you. So you might feel during these 10 days that you're on a roller coaster ride. Hold on. Because your life is going to be doing a 180. You're claiming your power. You're knowing what it is that you want. Now you're moving forward in passion. You have the Knight of Wands right here. Now this could be a, this is a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. This could be within your chart. This could be somebody that you know, but this is moving forward in passion. This is also saying that you're going to have a collision of what it is that you truly want. And it's going to jar you. It's going to shake you a bit. And that's what's at your root. It's really sitting there and contemplating things. You have the 10 of cups. I love it. The repeat of the number 10 here. That's the completion of a cycle. Okay. And this is love coming into your life. This is that soulmate connection, that true love connection. Soulmates do not have to be love connections. That's why I say true love. It can be somebody who you've known from past life that you connect with, who helps you move forward. And it could be that your souls know each other. But on this, in this incarnation, on this earthly plane, you guys cannot like each other at all. So know that that's a possibility. But here I see this more as a true love, kind of falling into balance, fall, falling into harmony with yourself connection here. You have a Capricorn energy with a devil card, all right? This is December 22nd to January 19th. You might be seeing yourself moving forward from that time period from 2019, okay? Moving forward from something that has happened then. And it can be that when you look at things, 2019, no, 2018, thank you. 
2018 to 2019. And when you look at things, come December of this year, okay, come December of 2019, you're going to see such a change. And you're actually going to feel that you set yourself free from chains that were keeping you small, keeping you confined, that were, yeah, you're not going to be walking down the normal path. Okay, you have another earth sign energy. You have a Capricorn here. You have a Taurus here. Now, this could be a wedding card. All right, some people do see the Hierophant as that. It doesn't have to be a wedding card. Those for some of you, an ex that you were in a really close relationship with, all right, is going to be rearing their ugly head. All right, here it is also a sense that it doesn't have to be that that person's going to be coming back into your life. You can find yourself thinking about them for some reason. But this is also, and this is a repeat of the number five, this is a freedom number. All right. This is you claiming your power. This is you claiming your truth. This is you moving forward. You have the King of Wands right here. This is a powerful fire sign energy within your life. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming forward. But you are going from defending what it is that you want to knowing it, transforming yourself and moving forward in your passion. And then you have the Page of Wands. You're setting yourself free. Okay. That's that fish jumping out of the cup. You're setting yourself free. You're healing. You're moving forward. Okay, you're embracing the waters. You're embracing what it is that you want and where it is that you want to be. Your fairy guidance. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aquarius, June 11th through the 20th, 2019. Aquarius, June 11th through the 20th, 2019. Show me clearly. This one right here. Euphoria. And this one right here. Choice. There's going to be joy in the choices that you make. Okay, as you're moving forward. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aquarius, June 11th to the 20th, 2019. Aquarius, June 11th to the 20th, 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. This one here, vitality, and this one here, energy. There is an energy to you. Even if at times you feel your energy is drained, there is this vitality, this vibrance to you. So we're starting with vitality right here. And this says, vitality is the beaming force that gives you energy and vigor to life. That gives you energy and vigor in life. So now you are moving forward. You're claiming what it is that you want. You're going after what it is that you desire. The color that's shining through here is orange. So healing and cleansing your sacral chakra is going to be highly beneficial to you. And now this chakra is a lot of chakra where we hold negativity from this life and from past lives. So here you're moving forward and you are letting go of that negativity. Then we have energy. This says, with limitless energy, you'll achieve more than you ever dreamed possible. Do not hold yourself back and embrace your energy. Don't sit there and think, oh no, I have to keep myself contained. No, go for it, go for it. And the color that's shining through here is blue. That's healing and cleansing your throat chakra is going to be very beneficial for you. Then we have euphoria. Okay. And it says, Euphoria will amplify your awareness of the beauty that life has to offer. Okay, so just coming from a place of joy, from a place of happiness. And then choice. You're in control of the choices set before you. Do not let anybody take that control away from you. All right, or let anybody think that they're in control of the situation. You are. You definitely are. You're coming through here at the center of everything as the queen of swords. You're going to be more comfortable being behind the scenes during these 10 days. And why I say that is kings are the actors on the stage. They're the ones that get to be seen. Queens, they're the, they're the directors. You're going to be more comfortable being the director. Even though you have here the king and the queen energy facing each other, your passion and your mind are going to be in unity. People are going to see your passion more though. Okay? So know that, and you're going to be having a transformation of it. But you have this passion that leads you forward. You have this sense of, you know, knowing what it is that you want, and knowing the way that you want to achieve things within your life. With the swords, you're cutting through doubts and fears. You're going after what you desire. You're setting yourself free. All right? There is a need for you to embrace your truth, your prosperity. Guard your mind. Guard your thoughts. Okay? It's kind of like trust everyone, but brand your kettle. Because your mind is going to be so on point that people are going to try and steal your ideas from you. You don't need that. Okay? Keep on moving forward in your truth. Then we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is negativity from the past coming up. Because in medieval times, all right, 
I know people say with the Five of Swords, you know, you're supposed to give the people back their swords. This is bad sportsmanship. But in medieval times, if you told a person after they won a battle that you were supposed to give them back their swords, they would laugh at you. The person who was supposed to get back the sword would be like, yeah, please do. But they would see you as weak. Now, I'm not saying here that you're supposed to destroy everyone or live like a medieval person at all. What I'm saying here is that you have to know your strength. And disarming the person doesn't mean that you've rendered them helpless, okay? Because they're going to come back. They're going to come back, and they're going to see you as somebody who is strong, somebody who is an opponent, that they want to show that they have their strength, that they have their power. There's something that they want to prove to you. Now, even if it's not a person that comes back, it's an idea. It is a, again, like that situation, like, oh my gosh, why does this always happen to me? It can be that from that situation, you, you know, you're learning something. And that can be, it is, from that situation. This is a karmic debt, okay? This is a karmic lesson that's a life lesson that's being brought to play, okay? Do not give up on yourself. Do not give in because you are the empress. The empress, Rhiannon, in, in Welsh mythology, she was cast down. She was supposed to be nothing, all right? Even though she was a goddess, even though she was a queen, even though she was a fae, a fairy, Okay, she married a mortal man, and they finally had a child, and that man was a king, all right? All her dreams were supposed to have come true. She married the love of her life. Everything was supposed to be going forward exactly the way that she wanted it, and they got pregnant, and it took them a while because she was a fae, and it's harder for fae to have children. So she got pregnant, and it was a joyous moment, and she gave birth to a beautiful son, and especially in medieval times, that was so important. Okay? The king had his heir. But what happened is because she was the goddess of horses. During that time, every year, this monster came by and he stole away the finest horse in all the lands. And that was usually at their neighboring kingdom. So they were safe. But because, again, she's the goddess of horses, he saw her son as the greatest gift, as the greatest horse, the greatest triumph. So he stole her child. And this is while she was asleep, after giving birth, after being utterly exhausted. And she was surrounded by midwives. And those midwives looked at her, looked at the em empty bassinet, and they went, oh my gosh, we're all going to be put to death. We're all going to hang because we let her baby be stolen. So they said, you know what? Better one person suffer than all of us. So they smeared her with blood. I mean, she had already given birth. And they said she ate her baby because she was a fairy. She was a fae. She was an other. They didn't trust her. And they cast her down as a monster. And the king looked at her, bloodied, and saw that there was no baby. And he said, my gosh, you did. And she says, no, I didn't. Now she could have just walked away. She was a fairy. She was a queen. She was a goddess in her own right. She could have just walked away. But she was cast down. The king stripped her of her title. He didn't kill her, though he could have. And he said, you will live outside of the palace gates as a beggar. And you will have to tell each person who passes by the horror of what you've done. And then you will have to give them a ride on your back like a horse to wherever it is that they want to go. She went from being a queen to being a mule? No. Her son was stolen away. He was raised in the neighboring kingdom where all the best horses grew up because the king set out and wound up scaring away the monster who came now to steal the horse, the colt that was being born. And he finds not only the baby horse, the colt, but he finds this baby there. And he's like, okay, okay, I guess I have a horse and a baby now. The king grows up really fast. And so it makes him think that it has fey blood within him. And he sits there and he looks at the, at the boy and he says, you look just like the king whose son was eaten by his mother. And he says, you are that child. That child must have been stolen away and we fostered you, we raised you. Go back home. Then she is replaced on her throne. She's put there. When her son comes, he looks just like the king. Nobody can deny that that is his son. And she is put back on her throne. A few years later, the king dies. Her son becomes king, and she is given freedom. Okay? Why I tell the story, and why I'm telling you this story here, is because you're breaking the chains of the past, because you're moving forward in tradition and passion. You are being placed on your throne. Claim it, know it, understand it. You have been through times of despair and hardship and heartbreak. 
okay? Wrongly accused, judged by others before they even know the full story. Do not judge yourself the way that they are judging you. Stand tall, stand firm, claim your power. There's a prosperity to you that moves you forward, all right? And it changes everything. Do not give up on yourself because if you give up on you, it'll let everybody follow suit, but stay in your truth and you will change the whole entire game. Everything is changing. You are doing a 360. Not a 360, that's a circle. You are doing a 180. You are changing. Seasons are changing. The season of your life is changing. The way that you are moving forward, you are adding depth and breadth to the tapestry of your existence. The pain that you have been through has made you into this queen, into this empress. Nobody understands the full extent of what you have been through within your heart, within your soul, the changes that you have gone through. Now you are moving forward like a knight. Now, do beware of a fire sign energy in Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. It can also be this Taurus energy right here. But you are moving forward in passion. There is going to be a time where you connect with what it is that you want, and it takes your breath away because this is jousting right here. And you're charging at your opponent, and you are on your horse here, and they're at their horse here, and you're both charging in at each other. And when you hit each other, you can get severely injured, okay? It takes all the breath out of you. It is severe, okay? It's highly dangerous. It's how King Henry VIII went mad, went mad because he was jousting and he wound up getting that severe in injury. I think his horse wound up falling over and his leg was broken. It was a festering wound. And after that, you know, he went crazy and that's where he killed all his wives and did all the stuff. He killed over 70,000 people, I believe, in that time period because he went mad. All right, so know that the battle that you are in, this jousting match that you are in, it's intense. It can have intense consequences, but you are moving forward and you are going to feel as if your breath is taken away by the impact that the situations have on you. But unlike King Henry VIII, you are, you are moving forward in your truth. You are going after what it is that you want. You are embracing what it is that you desire. Know that it will take your breath away, but you at your heart are this queen. Stand tall, stand firm. No, you need your independence. You need your freedom. You need to fly, Aquarius. That's what you're doing. You have the Ten of Cups here. The repeat of the number 10, it's an end of a cycle. Blessings are coming into your home. Blessings are coming into your life. You are embracing them. Now, this could be a true love connection. Again, there could be a soulmate connection here with somebody who's coming in and connecting with your soul. All right? I don't see soul conne soulmate connections as love connections. There are people who elevate you forward. But I see here, there's, for some of you, a true love connection. For some of you who are in a relationship, it's saying here to hold on to each other and to embrace that you don't need the McNatt Mansion. You don't need to keep up with the Kardashians or the Joneses, or it doesn't need to be the Great Gatsby. What you need here is that place of security and beauty for yourself to move forward, that you connect with your inner child and you move forward towards what it is that you love, towards where it is that you want to be. There is a sense for you, Aquarius, that you do not fit into the box. You are breaking the box during these 10 days and you are claiming your truth. And why I say that is because the devil card, the horned one in the Llewellyn Tarot deck, the devil card in the Rider White Smith, Smith is a card. Okay, so the devil card in the Rider White Smith deck is a devil holding the chains of a naked man and a naked woman. And they just stand there complacent chained to lust, chained to sins, okay, if you want to call them that, chained to their ego, chained to earthly desires, you know, kind of chained to what they've thought that they should want. Here you transcend. You break those chains. It's saying here that you're setting yourself free. This also warns against addictions, okay, and it's setting yourself free. It's setting yourself free from addictions. It's setting yourself free from ego. It's claiming your power. It's claiming your truth. And it's moving forward in it. You see the light of your future. It might be hidden. Yes, it's under the rock. Okay, right here. But it is your truth. The angels are fiercely guarding you. Do not think that you're in this on your own. You cannot be put into a box. That does not fit you for these 10 days. You need your truth. You need your prosperity. You need your desire. And you need to claim that with absolute conviction of self. Majesty crowns you as you move forward, okay? So during these 10 days, you 
are claiming you. Okay? There's going to be somebody, and it's most likely a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, who wants to change the table for you. Okay? Who you are, you feel like you're in a roller coaster ride with. It can be in a very good way, but it can be in a negative way. Okay? Just know that. But everything is changing. Your passion and your mind are coming together. You have the Hierophant, the King of Wands, and the Page of Cups as your clarifying cards. The repeat of the number 10, crowning 10, number 5, crowning this reading. Okay? That says this is about freedom. And that's what I'm seeing here with the devil, with the empress. It's about your freedom. You are claiming your truth. Now, it can be through marriage here. All right? And this is not medical advice, you know, at all. Tarot cards are for entertainment purposes only. But what I'm seeing within the cards is that those of you who want to have a child, this is a fantastic time to try. Okay? Again, not medical advice, but what I'm seeing within the cards. There's a sense here of tradition. There's a sense here of connection. In relationships, if you are in a relationship with somebody, you're going deeper. Okay? Bonds are growing stronger. This can be marriage. All right? But this here is you claiming your truth. You feel with Taliesin, with the Hierophant, you feel that the place that you are born to be was not the place that you were born. Okay? The way that you define yourself was not the way that you were defined. You're breaking free. You're claiming your power. You have riches set before you, and you're claiming them. Your passion is moving you forward. You're going through a transformation. Know that if there is a fire sign within your life, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, they are going through a transformation. Look at your inner divinity, your inner God said, that's going to help you. You're setting yourself free. You've healed. Now you are moving forward. Healing, beautiful energy is guiding you. Okay? You have a water sign presence here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Right? But this is you healing and learning, it's being a student of what it is that you love, of what it is that you desire, and getting messages from the divine. As you break these chains, as you claim your truth, everything changes, and you heal and you move forward. Your subconscious message is the Eight of Pentacles. This is hard work. Subconsciously, you're willing and ready to put in the hard work, Aquarius, to move yourself closer to where it is that you want to be. This is also creative energy around you. There can be something that you've been thinking about, something that you've been contempl contemplating. Now you're moving forward. You're claiming your truth. You're claiming your prosperity. Okay? Again, you're getting messages. Listen. Your angels are with you, with you even though you don't think they are. Right? They're guiding you. Keep working hard. Okay, but let your inspiration shine through. There's a creativity, there's a uniqueness to you during these 10 days that is absolutely beautiful. All right, Aquarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. If you've made it all the way to the end, bravo. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. And may harmony always be with you. Thank you for giving this reading a thumbs up, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Bye, guys.